Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land. I know it's a little dark. What kind of deal? Deal with it. <laughs> I gotta take, I gotta dress up before I get started. Bangers. If, if you're gonna fill out the logbook, baby, you gotta make, look, look at that. You have to make that look neat. Uh, when you hand that logbook to a DOT officer, your neatness reflects on your professionalism. That's like your first impression. So you got to make the, those lines straight right there. You can't make that kind of wiggly. Just, just tear that page out and start over and, and do another one and, and make it look neat. It's all right. You're a good dog. I love you. Just do it over. Anyway, I'm going to give you a little uh, winter driving tip. I was actually getting ready to go to bed, but um, an experience I had tonight, uh, I had to share with you because this uh, is one of the top most dangerous driving conditions uh, you'll face in the wintertime. And uh, it... It's one of two of the worst. And if it's not the worst driving condition, uh, it's second to the worst. But uh, it, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. And uh, I drive a lot on snow and ice. Uh, I don't know how many thousands of miles every year I log on snow and ice so uh, you new guys coming out here uh, I enjoy sharing these kind of tips with you besides uh, not only is it a good deed but might just save your life and, and before I get into that be very careful you hear me say this all the time be very careful who you listen to about advice when it comes to winter driving. I love training new drivers in the winter time uh, because there's no better time to learn to drive on snow and ice than when you have your trainer sitting right next to you over there in that right seat. Because the snow and ice, that, that trainer's not going to let you uh, kill him. <laughs> Let's put it that way. He's going to be talking to you the whole time and actually get you where you're comfortable driving on snow and ice. If there is such a thing, you, you know what I mean. Uh, I saw a, a TikTok. I think it was a TikTok I saw the other day. This guy uh, put out winter driving tips. That's what he labeled it. He goes, you know, it's, it's now it's getting to be the winter time and they're putting a lot of salt on the roads. So, when it comes to the end of your driving night, when you shut down the truck, before you set those trailer brakes, you want to go ahead and get out of the truck, get you a bottle of water, <coughs> go back there and squirt that water down on those, on those uh, brake pads and drums, get all that salt rinsed off of there so it doesn't corrode your brakes and make your brakes ineffective. And once you get in your truck, you, know, you can go ahead and set your trailer brakes. Now, that kind of makes sense, right? Well, the kind of most stupid thing I ever heard in my life. Now, do experienced drivers, you know, they all got a good laugh out of it, you know. It's all ah, right. One of the things that you don't want to do in the wintertime is when you park, you don't set your trailer brakes. If it's below freezing, do not set your trailer brakes at night. You've been driving, you've been kicking up water and ice and snow all over that back axle, that tandem axle on that trailer. It's wet. So everything back there is already wet. So, uh, if you set those trailer brakes 
and it's below freezing, you're gonna wake up in the morning and the brakes are gonna be frozen solid and your truck ain't gonna move. You're gonna have to get back there with a ball peen hammer and bang on the drums to get the brakes to release. It was a couple of years ago, I stopped uh, in a, oh, one of those truck plazas on the turnpike down by Wichita. And uh, it it wasn't that cold. The temperature was dropping as I was driving. I was driving out of rain and the rain turned into sleet, turned into snow. Temperature dropped pretty hard. So everything underneath my truck was wet. And I pulled into the uh, the, the service plaza there and uh, shut down for the night. And of course I didn't lock my brakes. As a matter of fact, I kind of rode a little forward, rode a little backwards, and just set my tractor brakes only. And uh, when I got up the next morning, temperature had continued to drop through the night. It was about 10, 15 degrees when we got up in the morning. And I was one of the last ones there. But when I started to roll, I realized nobody else in the parking lot had started to roll yet. And I looked in the rear view mirror and I see this little gal back here underneath her trailer banging on uh, her, her trailer brakes with a hammer. I turned on the CV, started listening to everybody talk. Everybody was sitting there with their uh, trailer brakes frozen up. So everybody was dead in the water. It's real easy. Just don't set your trailer brakes in the winter time when you're parked. That's how you avoid that. But um, what I'm going to talk to you tonight, the driving condition, we call it freezing fog. Now I left out of uh, where the hell was I? <laughs> I? I got Minnesota stuck on a brain. And here comes another one of my Magnum drivers. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if we can get him on the radio. Hey, Magnum, you got your radio on? Hey, Magnum, you got your radio on? No. Anyway, he come into the same opinion I did. Shut her down. Anyway, freezing fog. So I wanted to get through Chicago and get up here into Wisconsin before I shut down tonight. And uh, after coming through Chicago, man, it just started getting foggier and foggier. And I was watching the temperature, and the temperature was dropping and dropping. You know, it started out 33, 32, and 30. And got down to 24 degrees. And the fog kept getting thicker and thicker. It got down to where visibility was probably down to about a tenth of a mile. Now, any of y'all that have watched any of those videos, of those pileups on I-80, see if my brother is going to pull in here and park next to me. Yep, sure enough. Huh? He parked right next to me, but... Anyway, he might come over here and talk to me. I don't know. I'll go talk to him in a minute. Look like a young guy. But, um... When you watch the temperature drop like that and it's foggy, you, you've seen the videos on I-80 when they just pile up. Where, uh, you know, you got a hundred trucks piled up uh, on the interstate. And, and that's exactly what it is. Two things. Low visibility and uh, reduced traction on the road. You know, starting to get slick. By the time you see you got trouble in front of you, you go to stop, 
and there ain't no stopping, just run into each other. It's crazy. Freezing fog is one of the most dangerous road conditions that you can do. The road seems dry. It looks dry. You're running on it, it's dry. But you think about it, you're in fog and it's down 22, 24 degrees. That's frozen fog. And that frozen fog is settling on the road. So it gets a real thin layer of ice. Just like black ice, can't see it at all. And it's, uh, it, it'll trick you. Because you're driving along and all of a sudden, you know, you've got good traction, visibility's low, but you're boogieing, and all of a sudden, you start feeling her slipping out from underneath you. And before you realize it, you got yourself in a hell of a trouble there. Freezing fog. Don't be running in freezing fog. Now, when I come up through Bylot, I looked in my rearview mirror, and I probably had about six trucks that were sitting on my tail. And uh, I got on the radio, and I said... Uh, because I'd been boogieing too, you know, 62, 64 mile an hour. And I felt her slip underneath me a couple of times. I slowed her down to 55. And when I come through by lot, the visibility even dropped more. And I dropped her to 50 mile an hour. And I just picked up the mic on the CV and got, said, said, guys, I've had enough of this. This is freezing fog. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to limp up here to the way station and get in here and call it a night. And I hung up the mic and when uh, I pulled off the interstate, and I almost missed the exit, visibility was so low. But when I pulled off on the exit, all six of those trucks that were behind me followed me in. And uh, this young man here had just pulled in next to me. I don't know him. I'm going to go say hi to him in a minute. Another Magnum driver. But uh, he made the right call. He, he's calling it a night. We'll uh, spend the night here in a way station. The next most worst driving condition is when you got a sheet of ice. Now you can run on ice. Especially if you're heavy. But uh the worst driving condition could be is you got a sheet of ice going, sun comes up, the clouds part, temperature starts to rise, and you've got that sun baking that sheet of ice on top of that asphalt, gives it a little skim of water on the top of it. Now, I don't care how skilled a driver you are, you can't drive on that. You're gonna put a truck in the ditch. So, in all things, know when to hold them and know when to fold them and when you when you're starting to feel your butt pucker and your knuckles turn white because you're hanging on the steering wheel time park truck anyway wanted to share that with y'all y'all have a great night god bless you each and every one remember you two can change the world man all you gotta do is be nice to each other bye bye